Welcome to our two berth pet friendly Peugeot Skyliners exclusive to Campsie Campers. Designed and constructed by us, we have taken into consideration everything you might need for your perfect camper van road trip. They have many luxury features including the rollout awning, captain swivel seats and mood lighting. These are ideal camper vans for couples with spacious living area and comfortable bedding and seating. Our high spec camper vans have been designed specifically with your luxury self touring comfort in mind. Explore Scotland and enjoy with your Peugeot Skyliner Campsy camper van. All Peugeot Skyliners have rear barn doors that open outwardly. These camper vans are ideal for all weather conditions as you don't need to leave the cab to access everything. Accessible from the rear under the seats is your essential kit and, if ordered, bedding. The bedding box contains mattress protectors, flat and fitted sheets and towels. Each camper van comes with essential kit. This includes two camping chairs, two umbrellas, a 25 metre electric cable for mains electricity, an 8 metre flexi hose to refill your 30 litre water tank, levelling ramps for front tyre use, and for the VWs, thermal privacy screens. The Peugeots have inbuilt privacy screens. The 240 volt power hookup point for the Peugeots is located on the driver's side. We advise hooking up to a camper van first, then the campsite. To do so, lift the cap, ensure the blue lid is horizontal, then insert. The opposite end is then hooked up to the campsite. To remove, first unhook from the campsite, then press the blue button to release the plug from the camper van. The fresh water inlet is located behind the slider door on the passenger side. The key is attached to the camper van keyring. Unlock the cap. Fill your 30 litre water tank with fresh water until overflowing. Then replace the cap and lock. Leveling ramps should be placed in front of the front tyres, then drive slowly onto them until the camper van is level. If the rear is unlevel, turn the camper van around as the ramps can only be used with the front tyres. The Peugeot's indoor dining area is at the rear of the camper. The table also forms part of your bed base. Remove the tabletop by pulling upwards. Remove the stem by rotating. The second smaller part of your bed base is kept under the seat with your essential kit. The smaller part is placed nearest the rear door between the two seats. The table is then placed down and joined together to form a solid base. Remove the two back seat cushions and place in the centre base. These fit snugly to form a very comfortable bed. Add cosy bedding. To return to dining, reverse the process. Ensure the black base of the stem is screwed in tightly so the table is firmly in place. All the windows in the Peugeot's have both nightshades or sunscreens and fly nets. For the windows in the rear doors, pull up. The screen simply latch into place. Pull down for your fly net. Press the button to release the catch. To open the windows, pull the latches, then push gently, very gently or it won't hold, until it clicks in to fit one of the three settings. To release, push all the way up and let it go. The side windows are similar. Squeeze the buttons and click it into place. To move the fly net or screens, just squeeze the buttons on either side. To release, press the centre button. To open the windows, press the buttons on each handle whilst turning. Push the window gently out until it stays and then push all the way up again to release. You are unable to open the rear slider door window. This is to avoid accidental damage by opening the slider door at the same time. There are also two skylights for ventilation. Press the button then pull and slide into place. Thermal curtains separate the cab for sleeping.
The Peugeots have lots of additional features, like the rollout Fiamma awning. The hooked pole is kept with the essential kit in the rear. Hook the pole into the ring on the left, then using the two handles at the bottom, spin anti-clockwise to extend the awning. It can extend fully and support its own weight. Please don't use the awning in high wind. You can use it in wet weather, but not windy. The leg poles are tucked into the brackets in the awning. Pull them outwardly and then drop them down. Turn the catch on each leg to extend them. For outdoor dining, be sure to order your bamboo picnic table. To replace the awning, reverse the process, tucking the legs back into their brackets. For ease of access into the cab, Nessie has a step at the slider door. Press the button underneath and shugel it out. Please remember to replace before driving off. The power panel is located above the slider door. Press the power button to switch on the controls. The leisure battery charges whilst you're driving and can last two to three days off grid. Switch on the water, switch on the lights. Press the L button to check how much power is left in the leisure battery. All four will be turned on before you arrive to collect your camper. Only the lights need to be switched off whilst driving. The other three can stay on for the duration of your trip. The light switch powers the main cab spotlights. There are also four dimmer lights. Tap on, then press and hold for mood lighting. Your kitchen sink and Wallace diesel cooker and heater are by the slider door. Lift the lid and raise the tap faucet for fresh water. This camper van has an economical and efficient diesel heating and cooking system. The heating controls are located directly above the sink. Press and hold the power button for a couple of seconds to start. The orange power button will come on. The fan will kick in, but it takes around 10 minutes to get full heat. The red flame light shows it is heating up. Adjust the temperature. Heat will begin to come out of the vent. After a few minutes, raise the lid and the two induction hobs will begin to heat up. After 10 minutes, you will have full heat to boil the kettle. To use the thermostat, rotate the dial in two full turns. The orange heating light will come on. Close the lid and adjust the temperature. This can be kept on a low heat all night to keep you toasty. To go back to cooking mode, rotate the dial twice until the heating light goes off. The red flame light is for cooking mode. To power off, Press and hold the button for a couple of seconds and the orange light will go off. The red light will stay on then flash to indicate the hob is still hot. It takes around 5 minutes to power down. The surface lid is child friendly and will never heat up. Storage drawers are under the cooker. A small drawer for condiments your cutlery drawer, plates, bowls and cups, and pots and pans. In the cupboard you'll find a small bin and your cleaning kit. A cleaning kit is provided with everything you might need, such as dish cloth, brush and shovel, and washing up liquid. A second bucket is also provided for grey waste. The grey waste outlet is under the kitchen side of the van. Your kettle and chopping board are above the cooker. Your 50 litre fridge is behind you. There are two USB points which can be used any time. To use the three point plugs however you need to be hooked up to a campsite. There are more storage cupboards all around the cab and a privacy cupboard for your onboard electric flush toilet. The green indicator shows that it is clean. Once it gathers waste the indicator will go red to show it is full. The flush button is top left. 
Flush a little, then release the waste into the tank by pulling the grey handle on the left hand side. Flush again to leave a little fresh odour liquid in the basin. To empty, release the grey switch at the front and then pull out. The toilet is in two parts. The lower part contains the waste. Push the white switch at the back to separate. Spin the nozzle, then dispose of your waste at a specified waste disposal point. Fill the waste compartment with a cap full of the organic fluid provided. Also add around 500 millilitres of water. Add a cap full of the fluid to the top section and fill up with water. The comfortable Captain Swivel seats are easy to use. Simply pull the red handle and spin. The driver's cab has all the usual functions and features. The Bluetooth stereo will only allow you to connect your phone while stationary. The Peugeot's handbrake is on the right hand side. TomTom sat-navs are provided to help you navigate. Press the menu button, drive to, enter your destination, select your destination, select again, press drive to for your route. User input freedom camping points are displayed if you want to use them. To return to Camp to Camper's base, select Drive Home. Enjoy your uniquely designed Peugeot Campervan adventures with Campsy Campers.